Welcome back guys, it's been a while since my last video. I just took an extended break. You never quit the game, you just take breaks as they say about RuneScape. So I'm back now and it's time for the next video of my progression series. Enjoy guys! We start our new episode from the place where we left off last time. Let's pick up the Larensky as well. Now it's time to sell our loot tab and see how much we have made during Slayer. Uh, we can see that we have 4 Larenskis so far, a bunch of wilderness teleports, some seeds, some armor, some ores, some logs, a bunch of crap you know, but in the end they're gonna make a nice sum of gold. So gotta sell it all so we can advance in the other aspects. Yeah, gonna keep those Laron skis at the moment for collection and gonna open them later when I have more. So let's see how much we make once I sell all of this stuff. Around 1.8 mil. Not so bad actually. There is enough money for some cannonballs now. And probably for some other stuff as well. Hmm. Talking about other stuff, I bought some bounty hunter gear as well to see if I can unlock some easy, fast items here. But we will see how it goes. Oh, our first target is here. Oh, he also has rune knives. Good luck, good luck, my guy. The DPS of those rune knives are actually pretty nice, but the damage out, like, the damage is quite weak, so you can't really KO, KO someone with that. Unless they really run out of food. He has a nice KO weapon with the light ballista. Basically every fight that I had ended up like this. The enemy ran away. I ran away. Or there was another option as well. Which you can see now. This was the option that I liked the least. Some of those accounts are just too strong with all those special weapons. Unfortunately I didn't press my recording button and I didn't record how I was opening those larynx chests. But at least we can see the loot that I got. I opened 14 larynx chests and I got almost... is it gonna be 2 mil? Almost 2 mil. So not too bad I would say. It's gonna help a bunch. Now it's time to get some Herblor up for the quests that I'm planning to do. I can green Ronaris now. That was really nice PK. Unfortunately my recorder wasn't on and I tried to set it up during the encounter but this guy almost capped two times from me and he almost got away so I had no chance to put it on. Basically, he was running like back and forth, like trying to cap me, capped me two times, but luckily for me, he wasn't able to log out. And as you can see, I unlocked Rune Crossbow. It's gonna be huge because now I don't have to do the crazy demi boss in the wilderness called this crazy archaeologist guy. So, this is going to save a lot of time for me. So, let's see. Because I don't have these uh, loot keys unlocked yet, but I PK'd some guys who had the uh, loot keys on. I think this is actually the guy... Yeah, w some of those guys that I BK had loot keys, so let's see what they have. I think it was the bot killer I, I killed. Yeah, not, nothing special, but... But still, uh, in the end, it, it adds up, you know. And the last one is, yeah, basically wine and goons. So those magicians really like to drink wine. Dragon, wh why are you hitting me? I'm here to protect you. Look at this chat, guys. Dragon, Madhelm, Brian Sabre, Tox, uh, whatever, Shield, you know. This guy was straight from 2007, if not before. Let's hop around a little bit here, see if someone is harassing those lava dragons. Oh, right next to me. 
that's a nice gift for me. Hehe, <laughs> you're snared, dude. It's not even entangled. You're just snared. He probably doesn't even eat. You see, dragons, I'm not against you. I'm on your side. Another ba batch of wines. Some runes. Yeah. I don't even know how those pots function after having so much wine. Ah, oh, there's another guy. Is he going to attack me? This might be the player, actually. Is he moving? Okay. I added him to the friends list, so if he gets away, I at least like, maybe can find him if his friends list is on, but it seems like it's not on. Come on. Snared. Nice. Ooh! The dragon is working me. Oh, no way. The dragon did more damage to me than this player. Okay. He's using protection from magic. I'm not 100% sure if he's a bot or not. But it seems to be that he might be player actually. So let's see how it goes. If he was a bot, he would be running already, I think. So he tries to give me a fight. Let's see who will come out as a winner. If he is not going to run soon, he might actually outlast me. Ah, okay. He's not outlasting me. Come on, let's get him. Is he out? He waited until so late. No, th he capped me. Ah, the gate is closed. Splash, come on, come on. No splash. Oh, no, oh. All right. This is my last option basically. If he get if he gets around this uh, corner, he's gone. Yeah. Screw the splashes. Let's use the crossbow that I got. <laughs> crossbow comes in glitch. What we get? Nothing special, unfortunately. Oh, another guy. Oh, he actually scald on me. And he's risking death runes, so it's gonna be better loot than uh, chaos runes all the time. Yeah, snare, snare didn't splash either, so... Whew, 35 with the dragon fire special. Good fight. You see, death runes, fire orbs, stamina potion. No, I got stamina potions, guys. I was waiting for this drop, actually. I thought it's coming way faster than it did. This is going to make the quest grind that I'm about to start uh, way faster. Otherwise, without stamina potions, it's uh, really grindy. So let's get this to the bank. And see what's our next move. Oh, something is happening here. I, Fortinio, and you in your Nishimoto. Is he brother of Nish? <laughs> no way. Anyways, let's help Nish out. Oh, there's another one. Glancy. What is he doing? He's probably too high a level to help. Okay, it's singles now. Is he, want, is he going for me or? No, no, he's going for the original target. Okay. Seems that it was too much for the guy. There's another guy. <coughs> Sparkles suck. Okay. Is he a welder or? Why does he think that the sparkles suck? No idea. But he has a DB. He's. Uh, I mean, I should go for it, he's unsculled, but I have nothing to lose anyway, so... Except my dignity. <laughs> so... Okay, King Soto is back there. No idea where he came from, but... Okay, oh, half TB. I probably won't last this half TB anyway, so... Let's see what this guy is made of. Can I take him? If I take him, I might actually get some nice upgrades. Okay. He's praying magic. He doesn't know that I only have my stupid snares with me. Yep. Tricked him again. That's epic when it works. Especially when the enemy doesn't know that I'm not so deadly on magic side. Okay. Oh, almost got smited already. Okay. Doesn't look so good for me right now. I think it's time to bail. <laughs> Ooh, 2 HP, come on. No panic. I can manage it. This is a little tank test. 
Oh shield. Ooh. Ooh, almost a chance again. Ah, what? King Soto came in. Guys, did you see that King Soto actually saved my life? I would have died probably if King Soto didn't step in. Comment down below if you think King Soto is MVP. So it's begin it's the beginning of my quest grind now. Let's do some quests. Since I unlocked stamina potions, it's gonna make it so much faster. The dig site completed, a lot of mining experience. Demon Slayer done. Look at the animation. Badass. Making history completed. Baroque Museum stuff completed. Got the uh, experience lamp, so most likely gonna use it on agility as usually because I don't like agility, training agility so much. So, Fossil Island unlocked with the Bone Voyage quest completion. So, as you can see, I have some ruby necklaces there that I'm enchanting to the excite pendants. These are going to make my birdhouse runs way faster because, in between my regular activities like Slayer and stuff like that. I'm going to do farming runs and also birdhouse runs. So I'm going to level up my farming and hunter as well. Had to level up my clockworkers bench to make a clockwork because I need it for the birdhouses. Yep, yep, yep. Jungle potion completed. Level 28 herblore. Runs is a big guy, he definitely needs the chicken that I made for him. Big chompy bird hunting done. Ah, this bad boy killed me several times actually, I totally underestimated him. But at least this time he went down. Oric bones. And Sogre bones. Sogre flesh eaters completed. 28 fletching, 29 herblor. The golem completed. Let's get some hit points experience from Shadow of the Storm. It's 57 quest points. Let's start the recipe for disaster guest as well. Right, have everything for the cook. And now it looks like I'm invited to the dinner. Or at least that's what I was hoping for. Murder mystery completed, some crafting experience. Witch's house completed. And this is the point where my pure turns into 13 defense. Slayer pure, if you can call it this way. Goblin diplomacy completed. I freed the mountain dwarf, Lumbridge guide. 66 cooking, scratch aglog we freed, goblin generals freed, which gave me a little bit of experience in cooking, crafting and farming, always good to get some experience. Three council members left to free, 41 level farming. Let's see what does the chest have for me now. It should have something for me. Not sure if it has all what I want, but there is something for sure. No, 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 this is my bank. A pot of cream, pot of butter, some eggs. But this is what we are interested in. Mitri gloves. We are quite close, but not there yet. Let's see where the next episode will bring us. If you enjoyed what you just saw, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends and different RuneScape communities and discords, subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you have any suggestions how I can make my videos better. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.